everyone, good day. For this video, I'm going to share to you about one of the encyclical written by Pope John Paul II in 1995, which is Evangelium Vitae. So first, let me ask you a question about life. So what is life? Why do we need to protect it? So the basic details regarding to life, I do this encyclical rather is that it was written by Pope John Paul II in 1995, and it translates in English as the Gospel of Life. One of the great, it is one of the greatest contribution in the Catholic social teaching, according to my research. So this is Pope John Paul II's picture. So it was written by Pope John Paul with the aim to strengthen the Catholic view in life. So this encyclical has three main focuses. First is the sanctity and the dignity of life, or the importance of life. Then, the new threats of human life with the modern evils and the socioeconomic factors affecting the destruction of life. So, the incomparable worth of the human person. First, what is life? So, life is the fundamental condition, the initial stage of the entire process of human existence. So, why do we need to protect life? Life remains a sacred reality entrusted to us, so to be preserved with a sense of responsibility and brought to perfection in love and in the gift of ourselves to God and to our brothers and sisters. So in short, life is precious and it means we share our existence with God. So new threats against, against human life, so the modern evils against life. First is murder, of course, we know what murder is, so no need to define it. And of course, it is the very threat of human life. Another one is genocide or terrorism or the definition according to Oxford languages is that genocide is the deliberate killing of a large number of people with a particular nation from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. So one thing is um, similar to massacre or wholesale slaughter, or mass slaughter, mass killing, or terrorism. Another threat is abortion. It is the only possible decisive response to failed contraception. So for kanang mga nag... O dili ang kanila plano na mag... kanang ma-pregnant sila din. Di man dyan malikayan, bisa kung saan nila ko antingali kanang tumar o mga contraceptives. Kamunti sila. So ang ilang option feeling nila kay... Kaya dapat si Dilita na mapurumang bata ah. Then, saan man yun? Manahila na lang ipakuha, which is very against the moral law of God. Then, euthanasia. Of course, euthanasia is justified by avoiding cost. So, legalize siya tungkol kay para kung may makatipid ang mga tao nga. Instead of hospitalization nga, gasto, for burial na lang siya diritso, which is very against the kanang moral law kay English unta, we aim for saving lives. Murag ipadali na lang yun to. Another one is death penalty because for me, it is kanang grabe rin siya kay murag wala na siya yung freedom gani nga mga buhi pag durma, kung pag-usab. Kanang wala na siya, dili na niya maatayin ang freedom instead of kanang prisuho na lang unta siya. And all this also include willful self-destruction inflicted in the body or mind Subhuman living conditions, arbitrary imprisonment, deportation and slavery, prostitution, selling of women and children, and disgraceful working conditions. So, unfortunately, in the modern world today, the way people see life and, and relationships is changing, not necessarily for the better. So problems now are not only personal, but social, cultural, and political. So amongst human life, is the, is the right to life. So example for abortion, it is life of that infant or that baby to live in a life, to live a life in earth. But, wala man. Giputol man sa ginikanan before pa siya dapat mataw. So, so, then, God entrusts that we take care of ourselves. So God entrusts us to, our, to one another. He gave us freedom. When freedom is used for selfishness, for selfish purposes its very meaning and dignity is contradicted another thing is that we need god it was written in the encyclical 
that without God, we, lo- we lose our dignity and our lives, causing a habit- habitual violation and the law of morality. If mother is so much. Life is meaningless, meaningless without him. Since we give it, he gave it as a gift to us. We must protect it and be grateful for it. So life must be viewed as sacred. Entering of a life is into this world must always be welcomed and never considered a burden. Kani dapat unang-unang sa kanang magpa-abort nda. Then we have the rights of the duty and the duty to say no to acts that involve moral injustice or against the law. So another thing is that people don't believe abor- in believe in abortion because it is not illegal according to the certain state law. Then laws should should benefit all and must not go against the respect for married couple. So human human rights or con- contraception, sterilization, and abortion, or else the law is not right law so because it violates right to life with with every individual which in, every individual has and it prevents infants to contribute for the common good which every individual a individual is up to do then talking life taking life away goes against god's commandment thou shall not kill then because god saved us it is our obligation to respect and promote life our own and others. So to, to attain this, we must love our neighbor neighbor as ourselves and preach God's word always. Words. So the socioeconomic factors affecting the kanin, in the life is or kanin, evil threats to human life is one is the poverty. So poverty For example, in death penalty, some I I heard something that they implemented death penalty because dili na masulod sa prisuhan ang uban nga tao, wala ni budget ang mga criminals sa mga criminals ang state na mufund nila so ipimplement talang ang death penalty para gamay rang na sa prisuhan. So another thing is culture of death. Kana sigi gunaw na nga patiyon kay na inabuhat ang usa ka tao nila like. They, they are going to put justice in their own hands. So, country development, like it's a nation and contraceptions, for, it is also connected to poverty because, kanang, like it's a nation, okay, para makalas sila sa gastuhan sa hospitalization, they're going to just kill that person, okay? Sure naman po sila nga mamatay, wala na lang padali yun, which is very wrong. Then, proposition for this encyclical is that sexual, sexuality must be thought right and we must live in chastity, yes. Then married couples must understand their duty as procreators of life, not the destruction of life to babies or newborn child. Then women must change the idea that women are inferior to men or yeah, something like discrimination. And we must spread the word of God always. So references for this 